Overcoming obstacles is something athletes have to do at every level. Keith also found one man at this year's Hoop Fest that is not letting anything get in his way, on the court or in life. Eight years ago, Jake Vernon was in a car accident and woke up as a quadriplegic. One day, through training and meditation, his life changed forever. I regained the use of my arms and my hands. By the grace of God, he kept me sitting down for one reason, to keep me looking up. So I can maybe help somebody else one day, just maybe, just walk one more time. Since regaining movement in his arms, Vernon has been on a mission, showing people that a wheelchair can't slow him down. Anything you do walking, I can do sitting down. You want to climb a tree? I can. You want to go skydiving? I can. My thing is I want to go fishing just one more time. And I don't want to drag my wheelchair and I don't want to drag anything else. I just want to walk over the hill and not have to worry about it. If you don't believe Vernon when he says he can do anything, he has big plans for next summer. I want to push my wheelchair 2,671 miles across Route 66 from Santa Monica, California to Washington, D.C. 90 days coast to coast, 33.3 miles a day. It'll take me 82 days. I'm just saying 90 days in case I break something. Vernon will begin his cross-country adventure June 18, 2009, nine years to the day of his accident, and he's doing it to help others. I am trying to raise awareness about people with disabilities and how that we all can. If I can, you can, and if we can together, that means we can make a better place for somebody else. If we all went through life with the attitude of Jake Vernon, we could make a better place for everyone. In Spokane, I'm Keith Oso, KXLY4 Sports.